Welcome back, guys. Here we are, MLG Columbus, the winter champions. Um, Tumba, this is Kibbles, and we've got another fantastic series for you coming up here. Why don't you tell them who we're going to see? Guys, we've got ourselves a Zerg versus Zerg of epic proportions. It is Hapro versus Dongregu. Let's take it into this game as it has now finished loading. Tumba, would you be so kind to take us away with some introductions? Absolutely. In the north eastern corner, you see a liquid Hapro spawning as the blue Zerg. He'll be facing off against none other than DRG, also known as Dong Regu. So here we go, epic ZVZ action kibbles. Can't wait to get into this one. I as well. Uh, extremely excited. ZVZ on Daybreak has really, really interesting prospects. Uh, really anything can happen. Jamba. Uh, a lot of people open with 15 hatch, but because of that, you know, meta counters it. You can see a lot of temples on this map. Uh, and it looks like that's what we're going to see actually out of Haypro. So hopefully for Dongrigu, he does not opt to open with the 15 hatch. It can be utterly devastating. Absolutely. So there you see it. Spotting pull going down. And, you know, Haypro's one of those stories out of Providence that went on a sick run. You know, just yes. started uh, one of the Liquid Zergs. Of course, Liquid Team Liquid having so many great Zerg players. Uh, and Haypro being one of them. Just really making his way... Uh, through Providence, looking like he was on fire, looking at one point like he could win the whole thing. So, but he's been very streaky, though. He, he oh, absolutely. You know, he's, he seems to be a very streaky player. You know, Zerg is one of his hardest matchups. He excels against Terran, and Dongregu, uh, while you know he is a Terran killer in essence, Dongregu's ZVZ is not bad by any means. Now we did see Hapro, you know, take out legends such as you know Nest T, but uh, the real story here is going to be. Is uh, is DRG up to the task right now? And I honestly, I mean, it's day one of the event. I don't think he's exhausted. For example, you know, in the situation where Haypro had defeated Nest not to down the victory at all, but we did have a Zerg player who was pretty worn out compared to Dong yeah. right now, who's going to be playing at his absolute prime. Haypro, he uh, he's got his work cut out for him here. No, certainly. Here we go. Lings now on the field, going to make make their way cross map, and we're going to have to see exactly how DRG is going to elect to deal with this. He is aware they are on the way now. He did spot that with the Overlord, of course. Knew the timing exactly to see if those links were leaving for a 10-pool. Scouts at all. Now his pool is currently only halfway done, Tumba. Donragu is going to uh, possibly be in a world of hurt here. We're going to have to see what he can manage to do in order to fend this off. This will all come down to control. I love the opening, though, out of Hey Pro. What, do, oh, I, what do I like to see against DRG? What do I say every time? Aggression. Early aggression. That's it. And, you know, this is what I love to see. So let's see uh, just how well he can micro these links. As he is going to have a bit of time here before DRG has any ling units on the field. Dongregu doing a very nice job right now keeping these drones alive. He tries to, uh, yeah, does a nice job also there of getting the injured drones into the back. We do see these links doing uh, a lot of damage and not really taking any hits. But Dongregu has eight links currently on the way and four of them popping out right now. Wonderful control there by Dongregu. He go didn't ahead. lose a drone. Didn't Tumba. lose a single drone. And that is just phenomenal, phenomenal control. As you can see now, uh, a little ling on ling action as they are going to start to battle. But hey, Pro uh, sending more and more reinforcements down. But uh, DRG really not having any issues at all. And I'll tell you what. Uh, Queen is now out, and once that spine crawler finishes, really, that's going to give uh, DRG all of the resilience he's going to need to hold any of this. So Haypro right now going to elect to go ahead and try to take out this natural. Yeah, we're actually hitting the danger point for this uh, opening. It's yes, it is definitely with the pressure, you the potential to kill some drones. But right now we see that Dongriku has very few units, and Haypro's finally kicking in with that queen. We see all of these lanes, oh, wow. all the speed. Yeah, this is really, really dangerous. And the big thing is that Dongriku does not have the double queen wall off, which is just vital to holding this build. No, and tries to come up with the Sim City, and all those links are going to make their way in. Good unit control here uh, out of Dongriku, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Uh, quite yet, but yeah. he wants to focus down. The spine crawler does get the cancel off, and, and you know you what? Hey, Pro being so patient, he, and uh, you know what? And he's getting the victories where he needs them. Don't Riku dropped the second spine because he needed a second spine. He knows what is needed to hold this pressure. Behind this, we do see Hey, Pro is not transitioning. He is continuing to pump links, Tumba. Uh, spine crawler going to work, pulling drones off the line now to try to deal with this and clean it up. But man, look at DRG. He's just got alligator blood. The guy <laughs> refuses to die. <laughs> Don Riku mining uh, some gas right now. Wants to make his way up to 100 so he can actually battle and contend with these uh, Zerglings. 
See, Bamling Ness going down as well. It's actually going to fare extremely well against the Massling we're seeing out of yes. Bayfro as the reinforcements have now arrived. Yeah, that would be a table flip scenario if we can get some clutch Bayling hits off in time. Uh, once again, that contingent on the Bailing Nest finishing, obviously, and being able to morph some in. And Heypro really has got to prevent that happening, right? Because he does not want to go ahead and lose the bulk of his army. If he does so, uh, he'll be in a lot of trouble. However, he is expanding behind this. Yeah, Heypro coming in right now, doing nice damage with these links once again, but that, that Impaler Tentacle getting off quite a few shots on those Zerglings. Bailing Nest about to complete for Dong Rei Gu, and uh, honestly, Heypro's time is... Uh, we're thin here because these two spine crawls are doing a great job of holding the defenses down for Dong Rei Gu. But the real story behind this is that Heypro is the one who's managed to secure the expansion and he's got himself 17 workers, which he really needs to ramp up because Dong Rei Gu is, uh, yes, on only one base, but with the 21 I'm, and two spine crawls protecting everything here, I mean, uh, he's uh, essentially in some ways not letting himself fall behind. Well, I'll tell you what, Dong Rei Gu is one of those Zerg players that has the ability to sneak drones in, and yeah. that's the key. He sneaks one or two in, and before you know it, you're six or seven behind. And that is really uh, the key to the ZVZ uh, for DRG. And oh, here we go. Those Bailings really want to get a piece of Hapro's Lings. Moving out across the map with them right now. Nice control to Dong Regu. Trying to keep that Bailing alive, but it actually does get picked off. Uh, not protecting it enough with the Zerglings. Hapro moving in now, and you know what? Two more Bailings appear, and suddenly he's content to run away. Absolutely. So, uh, getting an expansion of his own now is DRG. Without speed, he's able to hold off these links with uh, his banelings. Just requires really, really good control, and he's actually had a few slip-ups thus far. Hayproof doing a great job at picking off banelings here and there. No, absolutely he has. Right now, it's so hard, though, I think, mentally for Haypro at this point because he has allowed DRG to stabilize, and that's not something you want to do. Yeah. I mean, that 10 pull opening, he killed the hatchery, which was great. But as you said... Uh, Don Rigu can really get in your head when he survives, but I love that Heypro gave that early aggression that we talk about Absolutely, so much. and look at this. Bailings of his own. So, again, going to come down to control, but you know what, man? DRG, when it comes to control, one of the best in the world, so we're going to have to see here. 2-2 two, two trade there on those Banelings. Hey, Pro, not going to be able to get too much of a great Baneling hit here. Nice spread out by Dong Regu. In fact, Baneling trade is not proving too effective for him. Nice hit there on the links, though, for Hey, Pro. A couple oh. of them slipping inside the main, however. And here we go, into the main now of Hey, Pro. Ling's getting in there, but going to get cleaned up uh, very quickly, actually. So, like really a out. seesaw battle here. Can he get the queen, though? Doing his best to get us around there. And man, it's just pandemonium currently. Yeah, uh, relatively on the map even for trade, I think, yeah. between both players. Uh, Dong Regu not able to hit any of those uh, main objectives, you know, the queens or uh, the drones. He, he didn't do much damage there at all. Just kind of had good effective trades. Nice banelings splitting thus far out of Dong Regu, but he's losing a lot of these banelings to the queens, which is not what you want to let have happen. And only one banling is going to make it up into the main base. Yeah, and again, right now, DRG just effectively laying on the pressure. So very heavy, and man, he is just relentless. When he flips that switch, as we like to say, it's go time. I mean, not that long ago, all we saw was reinforcements streaming across the map for Hapro, but DRG able to stabilize and now turn the tables and just has reinforcements flocking in here uh, to Hapro's base. Yeah, you know, he's really trying to bank on this timing of when the ten pool is vulnerable to some counter pressure here, because he's the one who had uh, the banelings faster, but ultimately, you know, his time frame had run out, but he's doing a great job here, continually the pressure, and you know what? Hapro can't afford to let these queens fall. No, this and is one does go down, second Rango. one does actually get us around, both go down there, so here we go, Kibbles. Uh, as you said, cannot afford to lose both those queens, and in fact, does so, so key larva injects now going to be missed, and man, Hapro, who was in the driver's seat initially, now finds himself behind. Link's getting the surround here on the morphing game. Link's if he kills all of these, I don't know if Heiko Heypro can kill all these reinforcements because he doesn't have the production tunnel. He's got one wave right now of 14 there's Darklings, the GG. but he, he knows knew. there's nothing more. Yeah, absolutely. Heypro knew at that point. So, uh, you know, I had said initially if he can get that first spine crawler down in his main, I feel like he'll be okay. And that is simply because DRG can rely on his micro so very well. So... Uh, while he didn't get the second spine crawler finished on the outside, he was forced to cancel. He did yep. eventually get uh, a second one down, staving off any aggression, losing his expansion. But it didn't really matter because uh, when it comes down to that unit control we were talking about, he frankly just had better control in that game than Heypro did. Yeah, Don Riku had very good control on the aggressive end of, of the uh, the spectrum of combat, if you will. His defensive plays, Heypro did a great job of sniping those beanlings. And 
Because of that, we saw him hold off. You know, that is a timing at which you're vulnerable if you open with a 10 pool and don't do that drone damage early on. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Donagu really wanted to capitalize on it. We saw him non-stop battering down the doors because he knows that's the point of vulnerability, and he managed to exact it. Absolutely. So uh, we can see DRG take game one here of the series. We'll be in the game two in just a second right after we get the map choice. Okay, looks like it will be Antigua.